they're so good. Cheers everyone. Oh. Mark G with a C, back with another video. I hope you're doing well today. I am back with a I got a package in the mail video. I haven't got the box. This isn't an unboxing type of I got a package in the mail video. This is from um, Nathan at Metal Down Under. He sent me a package, but the package also included some things, some records and CDs for somebody else in the UK from the VC. So I had to open it, obviously, to split up what was in there. But he very kindly sent me uh, two vinyl records and two CDs. Um, if you don't know Nathan's channel, obviously, I will leave a link below. Please check him out. One of my oldest friends within the VC, um, a man of very varied taste. You know, he, he listens to anything from sort of symphonic um, metal all the way up to death metal. But he's a very good friend, like I say. So uh, thank you very much, Nathan. Can't can't thank you enough. Now Nathan is very um, prevalent in the VC for showing bands with female vocals and he sent me this record and this now completes my devil skin collection i know i now own three of devil skin's records and nathan has very kindly sent me them all um devil skin are a band from hamilton in new zealand this is their second full length release records gonna fall out there hang on a second this is their second full length release. They are a hard rock, heavy metal band. Um, like I say, from New Zealand. I think they press all of their um, albums themselves on their own label. But from what research I did, there's the guys there. And of course, um, with Nathan being involved, female fronted. Um, yeah, the research that I did on Devil Skin a long time ago, actually, probably the first time he sent me one of these uh, VCLTs with Devil Skin in. Just Black Wax. Um, they were top of the charts, they sell out, they're very, very popular. Probably one of those bands that don't, not don't travel well, but you know what it's like when there's bands. You get certain bands in certain countries that are just so popular in the native homeland and um, traveling overseas they're not always revered to the same level i know they have toured over in the uk and europe but um yeah they're excellent if you like hard rock done well female vocals nathan always says to me that he sends me these when um he knows because he knows i like it you've got to change it up a bit i'm all about the filthy dirty horrible stuff but you have got to change it up every now and again so um thank you very much mate that's Devil Skin. I'll show you a CD next after a swig of the beautiful Bishop's Finger. <laughs> Great name for a beer, that, isn't it? Mm. Apologies for you having to watch me drink, but it's a warm evening and I felt like having a beer. I'm going to show you... Do you know what? I'll show you the other record because this is another band from Down Under. These guys are from Perth in Australia. And Nathan very kindly sent me the CD in the last VCLT he sent me. And he said, I've, I've got a vinyl copy of it and I'd like to send it to you. Which I made up with because look at this artwork. Record's going to fall out again. Another gatefold. Look at that. That's worth the admission itself, isn't it? Action, Godless Oath. It's a five track, plays the same on both sides. This is more your death metal. This is crushingly heavy, dark, um, modern sounding death metal. The vocals have got that modern sort of death metal sound where the vocalist he does he'll do the the low guttural growls and then he'll he'll take it up a, a register and kind of those screams in there but yeah really good 
um, almost sort of progressive in moments where they're, they're quite happy to take it out of that pure heaviness and, and kind of build an atmosphere. But um, let me show you the... Oh, is there anything inside? No, there isn't because it's the gatefold. Let me show you the vinyl. They're all the rage, these splatter vinyls, aren't they, these days? I don't mind that, though. I'm, I'm liking that. It's a nice... Uh, you know, if it matches the artwork, I'm all over it. And that kind of does, doesn't it, really? Ashen, Godless Oath, an absolute cracker. Okay, now the next two I'm going to show you. Both CDs, these are from bands who aren't from Down Under, New Zealand or Australia. But this first band I'm going to show you, Nathan has showed in a few of his videos in the past. He's either shown it because he bought it or he was spinning it in the background. But this is Three Dead Fingers from Stockholm. Yeah, in Sweden. This is their 2019 debut. Young lads they are. Put out the Bleeding Music label. And a very interesting band very interesting the very i'd class them as a thrash metal band great bit of artwork that isn't it but because of the sort of heaviness of the guitar tone it, it, they do sort of lean a little, it, a little bit towards the sort of death metal edge of things but vocally he's got a really interesting voice he's got one of those it's like a vocal style that you're not too sure about at first remember like sean killian when you first heard him sing with violence and you, you weren't quite sure that's what this guy reminds me of a little bit you're thinking okay no it's, I like it but I'm not I'm not sure but it, it soon settles right in with you and he will put a few guttural sort of growls in there um, which again lend it towards a bit of the death metal side of things but yeah really good super catchy um, kind of choruses in there it's thrash metal you know so you've got those sort of gang vocal style choruses going on and all that but yeah very interesting so uh, thank you very much and i mean look at that nathan knows me well he knows i'm going to be interested just by looking at that logo and that artwork three dead fingers mad name for a band though that must have some relevance in their in their world eh Or even in our world now, I just don't know what it is. Last but not least, this is a band from Turkey. Another thrash metal band. Um, their debut full length from 2011 from Ankara. And this is Thrash Fire. And their album Thrash Burned the Hell. That sounds like it's got lost in translation a little bit doesn't it with these guys being turkish but yeah thrash be of violence world domination thrash burned hell the rest of the songs um they're all translated quite well yeah no problem with that but um yeah thrash fire i'd never heard of this band before this cd arrived on my doorstep but they're excellent they're very good it's um Obviously they're a modern, you know, 2011, a modern thrash band, but they've got a real, um, excuse me, old school creator feel to them. The vocalist is very much like Millie Petrosa, barks his vocals out. Um, and the music kind of reminds me a lot of um, probably sort of terrible certainty era. It's not as, not as heavy as Pleasure to Kill, but um, and maybe not quite as sort of modern sounding as extreme aggression but terrible terms of like that sort of that gap between the more raw and primal stuff they were doing and the more polished stuff but really good uh, really really good band I don't know many bands from Turkey to be honest and I don't know where Nathan gets these from he sent me a few um, CDs in the past from some obscure bands from obscure countries but that's great, that's what it's all about. Thrash fire. Three dead fingers. And metal down under from metal down under. Ashen, godless oath. 
and Nathan's uh, pride and joy devil skin. Be like the river. I don't know if I told you that, but I will have written it down here. So thank you very much, Nathan. I really appreciate that, mate. Um, the package is well on its way to the recipient of the other bits you put in this parcel for me. So hopefully he'll have them soon. Um, you may be even have them by the time this video uh, uploads. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers, Bishop's Finger. Trouble is, once I've had one, I just want another one. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Nathan. You're a gentleman. And I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, take care, everybody. Bye for now. Haha, <laughs> I'll drink to that. Forgetting, I'll drink to the tumbleweed returning. I've been doing so well playing in the background. This is a split between Denver's Crypticus and New York's Scaremaker. Both filthy, dirty, horrible death metal. And Crypticus have had a few releases out, in fact. One of their releases was put out by Chris at Cavernous Records. Scaremaker were a band. Um, the drummer, oh well, he's a drummer in this band, but he's the guitarist and vocalist in Conjureth. Uh, and also Vanessa and Billy, who were a couple when they ran Razorback Records. Um, it's on the self made God label. 2012. But yeah, both of these bands have got that sort of Razorback record sound. You can hear it in the background. Take care.